Hello, this is a product review video I'm going to make for the Roswell Black Hawk. This is a gaming case. Um, this is going to be in my building of a secondary computer for video editing and other secondary uses. So what I have now is uh, MTAC 900 and Two, I think and this is pretty similarly designed I got this for about I guess $60 give or take $50 I don't remember the exact amount it's just really cheap um, what sold me with the case is that it has a similar design as an Antec but you get these um, USB ports. This is a 3.0 USB and this is a 2.0. I guess basically a six extra USB port built into the case without you needing to adding any extra slots, and that's convenient for me. And I didn't even know about this before I buy it, but I can see it here. You actually get an extra. Um, this is the cover here. You get an extra setup port here for hard drives. So if you have an external hard drive, you can just plug it in directly onto the case. Um, that's a nice touch from the Roswell. Overall, just from looking at the case, um, I'm going to put the stuff in, like the guts of the computer, in this case eventually. But right now, just from looking at the case from outside, it's, an, it's a pretty nice case. It looks very... A pleasing and um, very well designed. It, I don't know if I even need the fan because the entire case is pretty much hollow. Uh, there are things I don't like about this case aside from like it's very well designed. These big plus is that uh, it's pretty heavy and it's a lot. It could be actually be a good thing actually. I do like how big it is. It's really it's, it's advertised as a mid mid tower but the size is really almost as a full tower size as many of the review from over the internet has pointed out uh, I don't know how quiet the fan is going to be but from the reviews it's pretty quiet so I'm gonna just it's fine I don't I don't I don't actually use fan all that much anyways because this case is practically hollow uh, you can see from outside to inside okay now come to the downside I don't like about this case just from touching it um, Everything is made of steel, I think. It's or just really heavy iron alloy. It's very heavy. It's a heavy, heavy case. And it feels kind of cheap. It's like, it's built... You, you, you feel like the case is not going to last you more than two build or upgrades. It's just cheap kind of feeling. Uh, you may cut yourself with the metal, I can imagine. They... The shop. It's not, not a lot of thought put into it on material, but the design, it's just, um, you can beat the price on the design. It's like one of the best design I can find on the internet, to be honest. Uh, just efficient and clean. Okay, so I'm to the opening. This is originally four screw here. I remove all four of them because I don't, I like to get in and out of my comp computer parts. Um, make some upgrades or adjustments to the wires and configurations. So I don't like to put screws here on my personal computer. Um, it's pretty hard to open, as you can I can show you right now. This door, initially when I first got it, this ought to be part of the review uh, online, but it's, unfortunately it's not really pointing out all that frequent. It's almost impossible to open it by hand. You really need like a fork or a spoon or some kind of butter knife to pry it open almost. So um, if you're looking for a case that's going to be like you if you just want a functional case this is a perfect case for you. Cheap, economical and functional. Um, you could do it could be any gaming case on the market easily just on functions but if you want to asthmatically pleasing uh, this is not your case it's just made of crappy cheap materials um, this door doesn't open like 
by hand, you need to pry two to pry open. Um, and in process, you there's a chance you're gonna damage the door anyway, just by prying it. And so, if you're looking for a case that you, you're gonna be using for maybe 6 years from now, or 10 years from now, this is probably not the best case to spend your money on. But, if you're looking for a case that works, and it works as good, if not better, than any gaming case I see on the net, um, this will be a good case for you. It's just, remember the material, what's made of, it's really cheap. It's what you pay for it. I, I pay $50 for this. Like, so what? I really, I really shouldn't be complaining about the material. I'm sure just the, I don't know how they make this. Like, the cost of the material itself, it's more than the case. Never mind carving it and put it together. But anyway, so this is what the back looks like. It's pretty convenient. The store, which I don't, I'm not too crazy about. I'm not, I don't even use this fan, so I don't I don't like my computer to be very loud, so I don't have the fan on for the most part. Um, so this is what it looks like. You could probably break this off. Um, this plastic piece, somebody need to be there. Okay, I can see this case is gonna collect a lot of dust simply because of all these openings, which is not really a problem because I leave my computer open to external element anyways. Um, that's why I got this case instead of the other one. It has very good airflow, the most you can get. So just cleaning the dust, you can use a compressed air, just clean the dust every now and then if you feel like it. And this is the opening in and out for CD drives or USB drive or whatever thing you want to put here, maybe more hard drives. These are the hard drive base. You don't need the screws for this case. Everything is clip on, click in, and set up drive goes in like that. I'm going to be using a SSD drive. This is one of the old drive I retired for my current um, primary computer. I upgraded my computer to a 500 gigabytes solid state drive. Uh, this is a older one. I'm, I'm gonna be using this for operation system, so it doesn't need to be very big. Um, these are the screw that comes with the case. So, so you get a lot of screws here. These computer screws, probably uh, too many. Um, there's a little speaker here for the BIOS. And some zip ties and some other stuff that you're probably not gonna be using. There's a lot of wires. That's probably everything is pretty organized. Everything is in the spot. So you don't have a lot of wire dangling all over the place unlike other gaming cases I think I have using MTEX. I do like my MTEX case, but honestly it's not as well designed as this one. The only difference with the MTEX case is the material is lighter and better quality. Uh, it's Thicker and lighter. I don't know how to describe it. It's just like it, it's. It doesn't feel like you can cut yourself a band. See, like this is really sharp. You can cut yourself easily with these these stuff. So the design is great, but the execution of the material. Ah, somebody is taking a cut on the material. Okay, so that's pretty much it. That's that's the case. Um. You have a bunch of fans. A lot of fans. I don't like lights on my computer case. I like quiet um, case that doesn't light up. So I might not even use any of these fans except this one. I might. Uh, this these this fans had they all you know plastic and transparent because it has a blue LED in it. So this three has blue LED on the fan. The other two doesn't. The one on the door and fans here doesn't have LED light, so it doesn't light up. I'm sure if you don't want to light up, you can always break the LED light. That'll still work. But anyways, um, so another thing about this case, so this is a top view. Um, you already saw these. You can open these if you're wondering how to get to the front. You simply just pull. Look, I'm doing one hand. It comes out pretty easily. Um, this is what it looks like from outside. This metal part comes right off, you just wiggle it, and it comes out like that, it's just like that. And since I'm not going to be using them anyway, 
I just pull this out out of demonstration and now it's going into the trash. Cause I don't need it. I feel kind of wasteful doing about perfectly good meadows, but I don't need it. Anyways, so there's some filter here. This is what filter all the dust, but I don't see the point since everything else is hollow, so I guess if you use the fan, most air is gonna come through here, but trust me, dust is gonna get in no matter what you do. Uh, the mesh is actually pretty fine, if you can see. Um, it has really, really fine mesh in there. I mean, you can see it from here, this view, this is a good view. This is, this is as fine as it gets. Uh, and my entire doesn't even have a filter this good. And this is like a really high quality, um, almost air, like a, you can filter smoke from this. So it's almost like a smoke absorber air purifier filter. So it's pretty good. So yeah, for the money, um, this is a very good case. Hold on, let me just see. Yeah. There we go. Nope. 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 And putting it back with one hand is kind of hard, so bear with me here. Alright, give me one second. I'm gonna hold it with my neck. Oh, what am I doing? Silly me. Putting it backwards. I wonder how hard time. Alright, so one hand is not that hard. You could you could put it back. It's just a hand and click click. Just fun. Okay, so here are the buttons. The power button. It's kind of flimsy, but that's I like that. And the reset button. I never use the reset button, so I don't really care about it. So these are the button. These are the USBs. Um, that's pretty much it. And these are for the fans, the phone fan. Two of them. These are the LEDs in there. And this is the side fans, side fans, top fan, back fans. It's a bunch of cables. Uh, this is a hard drive light. This is, I think this is a speaker. USB, you need that. Um, this is the SATA data drive, I would imagine. I'm actually not sure where this plug in. I guess it's somewhere on the motherboard. These important, you need them to turn on the computer. Switch. This is a set of cable connector, and you got a power for the USB drive docks. So, oh, actually, I think this is, might be for the hard drive. I think that's what that is. I'm not sure what this is. I think it's this is probably power. Oh no, this is for the datas, I guess. For all the USBs. Alright, so that's it. So this is the piece it come with. Roswell, Blackhawk. It's huge. Just keep that in mind. This is my leg and this, that's the case. So it's gonna block your phone <laughs> when it comes in from UPS. Uh, you can buy these from I guess Amazon, uh, or search Google and see where you can get it. They are on sale right now. This is 2014, and yeah, get it. I, I recommend it highly. Um, I'm gonna make another video once I set everything up and running. Also, I'm gonna make a video for just putting all the, all the computer components inside the case. And thank you for watching. This is the full review that I just did. For Roswell, sorry, Roswell, Roswell, Black Hawk, and that's the user menu. You can read it if you want to. I never read user menus because I feel like the people who write them don't know what the product is. <laughs> Usually, just a waste of time reading them. They're nice pictures though. So, anyways, thank you for watching. See you next time. Watch my other reviews.